sea level rise and there's increased storms and there's increased acidification and there's increased temperatures. It's an area of coral reef research which has smacked right into climate change and it's an area of climate change research which shows that the world really is changing. And it's so warm that the coral should be just chronically bleached, uh, but they're not. So that's given us an opportunity to actually be able to, to look at what's going on and try to investigate, are these corals special? Can all corals do this? What's the mechanism? Are they super corals? They are super corals, <laughs> but the question is, are all corals super corals? When we test corals from other places at that temperature, they really can't take those temperatures. But if we edge the temperature of these other corals up a little bit, they get better at it. If we think about what kind of mechanisms that could, could allow them to exist in this really warm, warm water, they really kind of boil down to the two major ones. So acclimation happens within the lifespan of an organism, sometimes very quickly, and adaptation happens over generations, sometimes very slowly. When we started, we had no idea, is it acclimation? Is it adaptation? Is it something else? The good thing about corals is that you can take a bit of a coral and you can snap off a branch can glue it back down to another part of the reef and then ask is it where the coral lives or is it who the coral is and what we found was that it's actually kind of half and half and it explains why the the corals in our really hottest pool are so incredibly heat tolerant because they've got the advantage of genes the right genes and acclimation the real question from the practical standpoint is how much can they actually change things how powerful are they how fast can they act, and what are their limits? And we don't know, we don't know those answers yet. Maybe they can respond to ocean acidification, maybe they can survive sedimentation and habitat destruction a little bit, but can they do all of them, all at the same time? You know, it doesn't seem that likely, frankly. The best thing you can do for a reef is protect it against the things that climate change is not affecting that still kill corals, sedimentation, overfishing, habitat destruction, pollution. We can change all those things right now and they cumulatively kill more corals than climate change does right now. And in the meantime, we should fix the underlying problems which is fundamentally at the climate change level, CO2 emissions. We shouldn't just sit there and watch them for those extra decades slowly exhaust their power to respond. There's a window of opportunity to fix that. That window is pretty narrow and it's right now. Um, and that has to be where we go.